All right, so first of all, welcome to Containing Luxury. Um, today we're gonna be covering hurricane prep, which has nothing to do with building containers. But anyway, we're dealing with, uh, what's the name of this hurricane? Florida's east coast is bracing for what could be its most powerful storm in 27 years. I didn't even know it existed until a couple of days ago. But anyway, we're prepping for that, so we're not gonna be able to really do a whole video on the container, but I wanted to cover a couple of things before we get into what we are gonna be covering today. Um, number one was thank you to everybody for the outrageous um, response we've gotten to our last video. We've got a lot of really grateful people on the information that we're giving out, and that's really kept us uh, with the momentum that we need to continue the series. So I just wanna appreciate um, or extend some appreciation to all you guys for that. Um, also, a lot of comments. I'm trying to get back to everybody. It's just such overload um, that I'm really trying to find the time to get back to every single thing that we have. Um, all the social media comments in the videos. So what we're gonna probably try and do is like a Q and A um, every Monday or Tuesday that I'll pull off a bunch of the good questions and try and answer them. Um, just because realistically, I'm not gonna have the time to go through all of them that I, uh, that I need to. So um, besides that, a lot of people have been asking about the finished container walkthrough. Um, you can kind of see it. it's almost there. Um, but like you guys maybe know from some of the previous episodes, I haven't had the time to um, completely finish everything 100%. So stay tuned, we are gonna have a complete walkthrough. Um, but we've got like little touch up paint stuff to do, some little moldings on cabinets. Um, so there's a couple of finishing things we really wanna get done 100%. So when we walk you through, you can really see it. Um, but that's gonna be coming within the next couple weeks. Uh, besides that, the InsoFast. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about InsoFast. We have, and if you don't know what InsoFast is, um, we'll put a link to it, but it's a, um, yeah, yeah. It's a, uh, an insulation system, specifically for shipping containers. Um, a lot of people have been uh, asking me about it, and I called and spoke to InsoFast, I told them that we've had a lot of uh, comments asking about it. So they were kind enough to send us a sample pack. And I actually have some other container builds coming up that we're gonna be utilizing their system. So we're gonna do a in-depth review. Um, they're not paying me, I'm paying to use this system. So I told them, I'm 100% gonna give my honest review of how simple it is to use um, what I do and if I don't like something. Um, so stay tuned for that one as well. So. Uh, as soon as we get that out, it will be a, a good experience for us both. So other than that, uh, let's get started. We're going to do hurricane prep today. All right, so we wanted to cover some of the things for a hurricane hack, you could call it. Um, right now we're preparing for hurricane, I keep forgetting the name, Dorian. Dorian? Dorian. Dorian? Dorian? Dorian. There's a storm. So um, it's going crazy down here. So even trying to get any building materials, everyone, gasoline, water, everything's just a madhouse. So we figured it would be a good idea to maybe tell you if you're in the southern states, what's some, a list of things you're going to want to just like have on hand. We just want to think of like the top five things that everyone scrambles for last minute that you can keep in your house all the time. Number one is a generator. You don't need a big generator. So many people are worried about um, powering everything in their house. Okay, air conditioning, it is nice, but you don't need it. So try and concentrate on the small appliances like your refrigerator. Um, but you wanna split those circuits up so you could have an electrician come out and you could you know, label those circuits so you know how you can power just those circuits or just unplug it and plug it into a small generator. Um, so power inverters, those are good ones. Harbor Freight sells them, uh, Home Depot sells them. There's a lot of different little um, small consumption of fuel generator systems. Um, the number two is going to be fuel, which a lot of people are scrambling for to get um, so they can run their generators. But uh, with the fuel, we want to make sure that you have a way to store it. So a lot of people don't think until the last minute to try and go around and get gas cans. So go on Amazon, uh, we can put a link to a couple of good ones that I've bought in the past, you know, five gallon gas tanks. That, um, but the thing is, unless you're using like Rec 90 fuel, there's ethanol in that fuel. So you don't wanna buy a bunch of gas, put it in a gas can, 
keep it in your, you know, uh, your warehouse and then go try and use it a year later. It's not going to be good. It actually does have an expiration on it. Next thing is water. So as soon as you know there's a major storm coming, even if it's a possibility of hitting you, just go out and stock up on a couple of cases of water before the mad rush and you can't find it and then people are price gouging. Um, just avoid that altogether. You're gonna drink the water regardless. So worst case scenario, the storm goes somewhere else, which is actually the best case scenario, but you have a bunch of water to drink, so drink your water. So try and think ahead before the last minute rush. Number four, what's another good one, Joe? Uh, there's Joe backup idea maker. We're making these up on the fly, but uh, food, you know, uh, think of what you're going to buy at the grocery store, you know, and maybe this is some stuff you can keep on hand that's kind of, you know, not going to have an expiration date or a really long time before it expires. So some canned stuff that you don't have to heat up, um, anything that you don't have to necessarily, like if your fridge does go out, you know, try and keep some stuff because you just can survive on granola bars and water. Uh, number five, which probably should be higher up on this list. Well, no, you need food and water. So number five is probably pretty good. Um, is going to be lighting. So a lot of time we're going to lose lighting. Um, and we don't know when, you know, it could be the middle of the night that storm hits and we lose all our power. So plant flashlights around your house. Um, have them in locations that you know exactly where to get them so you don't wait until the last possible second and then you're scrambling or tripping over stuff. But since we're building container homes, a lot of the guys on this channel and, and girls are going to, gonna, uh, you're going to have tools. So try and stock up on um, the LED and you want to go with LED, obviously everything's LED these days, um, but that LED powered batteries uh, or battery power, well, that, 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 that. LED battery powered tool flashlights. So they make all different ones. They make ones that go on stands, ones that fold out um, and try and set them on the lowest setting because you don't need a lot, of a lot of light and you want to try and maximize the amount of time that you get with each light. But uh, they're a really nice way. So you can run your generator for a short period of time, charge everything that you need to, and then shut your generator off. If you're dealing with an issue of not having much fuel, conservation is going to be really important. So those are probably the top five most important things that you need for getting ready for hurricane prep. Now we're actually getting ready for hurricane prep. So we got to go board a bunch of houses and um, Ryan has to run and take care of some stuff, but we're going to catch back up with him towards the end. And then we're going to come back and we're going to teach, uh, we're going to go over what we need to do at the house here. So, we're just getting over to a guy from our church who called us. Um, we've already been out boarding out, up houses. Boarding up houses, I don't know why that's so difficult to say. We've been out boarding up houses all day. Um, a lot of different situations. Some people have accordion shutters. All you gotta do is literally slide them together. Other people have nothing from, you know, we're showing up with plywood, trying to cut them to size, tap, con tap conning them to the wall. Um, heat stroke, so. <laughs> Uh, so in this case, this guy had, uh, he thought he had everything we need. Um, we've already burnt up almost all the materials that we have. So we're down to, we just have some aluminum or galvanized panels here that we're going to screw to his house, but he does not have any of the hardware and we are actually fresh out. So we're trying to MacGyver a system together of the easiest way that we can at least get something covering his windows. So we'll kind of show you as we evolve and figure out what we're going to do. getting serious when the boss man's putting on the bell. You know something's up. Oy, the one cool oh, the one cool thing I ever do. Here at this base. You know what? Let me do that. So I took the screw and these are the only screws we have too. So we're so limited on what we what we have around. Just literally everything's running out. But we took this little screw here and I put it inside my drill. You can't do this with an impact, but you can if you have a standard drill. And I tightened it down, so now I made a little drill bit so we can pre-drill the metal. Since we have the wrong screws for the hurricane shutters, we need something with like a big washer on the end. So we're going to make it work, and we made a drill bit using the screw, so now we can pre-drill the panel to have a little tiny hole that these, will, these little screws will grab on because it's not going to work on these. 
but uh, that's a little trick that you can do. So a lot of time we're just MacGyvering stuff in the field. All right, so uh, once again, just to recap, this is not the way that we want to do this. This is in a situation where it was a last minute phone call. They told us they had all the hardware. We only have what we have left on the truck and we just wanted to come over here and help them out. So we did the best we could. Um, we secured it in the best fashion as possible. But the key to this story is, is that no matter, even if you don't have the right stuff, you know, put together whatever you have to do to protect. And you know, in the future, Get ready in advance so you can inventory all your hurricane protection so that if somebody comes, a lot of guys, a lot of contractors like me, and in our case, this is a friend, um, you know, they're gonna see that you don't have the stuff, they're just gonna turn around and drive away, you're on your own. So you wanna make sure that you have the proper fasteners, you have the proper panels, and that you've even test fit everything so that in a case of an emergency, you're ready to rock and you can quickly install everything or you can itemize everything, give it to a contractor and say, here's this, here's this, here's this, and you'll be good to go. So organization is the key to safety. All right, guys, I think we covered just about everything we could since we have heat stroke uh, and we're prepping for a hurricane to hit us. Uh, one thing that you, you wanna keep in mind is that we're gonna try and put some GoPros out and see how this thing withstands a hurricane. I'm kind of excited, uh, which is kind of crazy because we've got a lot of money into this, but, um, I think it's gonna hold up fantastic. We're only just gonna take down our, um, our planters. Other than that, we're gonna leave this thing exactly the way it is. And I think it's gonna hold up great. Um, so if you like our channel, make sure to try and support us. Uh, hit that subscribe button somewhere in this vicinity here. And uh, check out our next video, probably right up in this vicinity here. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lot more. We're gonna do our full walkthrough. We're gonna be doing our InsoFast reviews. Um, and we have some really cool, exciting builds coming up that we just contracted. So excited to walk it through with you guys and we'll see you on the next one. Here's how you use your head. <laughs> Does this look as cool as it feels? All right guys, we almost forgot. Don't forget about your animals. So I can't even tell you how many times after storms and hurricanes and crazy lightning strikes, uh, we find people's animals. So make sure they're in safe places, they have all their proper tags and documentation. Uh, so in the case that they do get free, we know how to get a hold of you. Um, other than that, stay safe. I know we're trying to make light of the hurricane, but there's a lot of stuff that we're facing right now. So make sure you bunker down, you think through it, and you're ready. So stay safe, we'll see you on the next one.